Oh, that's so cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one play. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Pepe Prawns, your host here at the Quadcopter Review. Now I'm making this video real quick because I ran into a situation and I couldn't find a video out there for it on this particular problem. Now if you have the RXSR receiver and you're having troubles with it getting any stick input when you go into beta flight, butterfly, or whatever you're using, I found a situation that maybe you won't know that you've done. So you've got everything set up, you've got it connected, you've got your green light, yet when you go into beta flight, you're not seeing any sticks. Now you're gonna go through a process, you can see Bardwell's videos and everything else about flashing your board and the proper drivers to get with that. Um, you're gonna rebind it, you're gonna do all that stuff and still nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna know that it's connected like you see here. You know, it sees the model, telemetry lost, etc., etc. But still, no matter what you do, when you go into beta flight, you still get no sticks. You try to load the drivers again. You try to rebind. You try it without telemetry. You try it, try it with telemetry. You come back in. You go into beta flight again. You move your sticks around like this. You still get nothing. You get pissed off because nothing's happening over here in beta flight. So what what you need to do that you maybe don't know that you did while you were setting it up is that you can actually hold the bind button too long and switch it into DPPM mode instead of into uh, SBUS mode. So it's an easy way to fix this. What you want to do is you want to look in here and you want to make sure you have a blue light with this green light, which you don't have right now. So you just hold down your bind button for four seconds, release it, blue light's going to flash three times and then it's going to be on steady. Now we are back into SBUS mode, and now you should see all of your stick movements and everything and have your inputs back into your model and be able to go about your business as you were before. Now, again, I had no idea I did that. I just must have held the bind button too hard when I was originally binding it, and that's what caused the problem. But as you'll see here, now we can go into beta flight, get into our receiver, move our sticks around a bit, and we're actually going to see movement in beta flight of our sticks actually moving. So that's that. Um, again, I made this video because I was out and about and I could see all kinds of, of you know, uh, videos for, for drivers and all these other things. And yet still I couldn't find it. And here's the sad part in the lesson to learn. Always read the instructions. It was in the instructions that you could do this. And if you had only read them you would know. So again, if it helps, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and happy flying.